Okay, for today we're going to talk about the game Puzzles in Survival, and well, here I am on free cash, and here's the offer here, so, you know, you you can do everything here, but except level 30, that's pretty much impossible, but, uh, you know, unlock 5 star hero, level 10, level 22, level 15, uh, that's about $80, so that's pretty good, and uh, if I go to... Uh, swag bucks. Here's what the offer is now. Um, you know, if you get to level 21, uh, you'll get about $75, which is really good. Level 21 is pretty easy, so I would probably do that one if you have it. Uh, before I saw, um, uh, it was this offer. It was like uh, level tw level 11, level 16, level 19, and level 23, and you get about um, like, over, like 80 bucks too, and level 31 is impossible, so, uh, you know, it's kind of the same, but level 23 is way harder than level 21, so, you know, I would do level 21 or 22 if you can, uh, so yeah, anyways, so here's my tips for, for this game, uh, how to get to level 20, 21, 22, 23, uh, really fast, and you'll get about 80 bucks, so, uh, here we go. Uh, when you first uh, install the game, you're going to get this Path to Survival uh, kind of mission thing. And you get eight days to get as many points as you, you can. And you need to get a thousand points to get this five star guy. So. Um, that's a really easy way to get a five star. I think you should really try to get a thousand points. It's not too hard. Uh, you don't really have to get more than you can get 12,000 or 1200 and get some extra stuff, but you don't have to get that many. So just try to get 1000. Uh, so the main thing about this game is you're going to be running out of resources a lot uh, to build all the buildings, especially the headquarters. So first thing you need to do is you need to buy a pack and uh, I bought this three star builder pack so I get all these equipments and they all lower the cost of building everything and they all stack up so a lot of the buildings low, low level buildings will be kind of free to build and it saves a lot of uh, resources uh, just as you're leveling up um, so that's a three star builder set and that's five dollars but there's also another builder set uh, I think is better is a better deal. So let's see. So there's a four star builder set here, and this is gonna lower the cost of everything by way more. And it's only twenty dollars. If you bought this one, I think you could complete the challenge in like two weeks, uh, up to level twenty three headquarters. So I would recommend this one, but if you want to save some money, you can buy the three star builder for five dollars, which but it'll take it'll take a lot longer um to reach level twenty three. So you know, my recommendation spend a little more money and it'll be way easier. Alright, we're uh we're we'll talking about the uh commander talents, so as you can see here, what I did is um, pretty much just put everything into economy so you can build faster. And you're going to want to do build mastery, of course. Fast producer is a good skill. That'll let you uh, get some free resources every 12 hours. And you're going to try to get the build mastery too. Fast build. And once you're there, you probably can't get much farther. And so you can just kind of spend on whatever you want. And so, yeah, that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward there. Okay, here's a tip about the heroes that might not be obvious. So, um, there's actually a lot of good heroes that are pretty easy to get. And 
like for instance uh this girl she's just a you know three star hero you can get her from the basic summon and uh you know if you go to her troop skill you'll see that you get all these bonuses just by having her so you want to rank her up uh if you can you know just keep summoning and if you get any three star uh hero cards that you can ex you can exchange for her i think she's probably the best three star one but she gives you all these like good passive skills like the free speed up six like whatever it can be like six seven three minutes um it's really useful uh the build steel cost uh build gas cost really useful and there's a lot you know there's a lot of them that are useful like this guy research food cost and he's just a two star really easy to level up um this guy is also really good um save us uh build food cost and build wood cost and gas output really good really easy to rank up he's just a two star uh, this guy is also good steel output uh, you want that um yeah so just you know just keep uh, trying to get as many as you can uh, and look for their troop skills because that's going to be all the passive skills you get just by having them. And these, they, they get higher when you rank them up, for instance, like, um, you know, you can see it'll get to, if you rank them up five times, it'll be 10% here and something like that for everything. So yeah, just keep uh, trying to summon as many as you can, like uh, the free recruits, you get a lot of them, so you should be able to get those two, two and three star heroes that give you some, some good skills. Okay, when you get to like level 17 or 18, you're going to want to try to find a really good alliance, like um, like a top 10 alliance. And the reason is they're going to be really active. They're going to do a lot of raids and they're going to do all the alliance events. You get a lot of extra rewards and you get a lot of like free gifts like this. Like this is just from one day. I get tons of free gifts and, uh, you know, they're just going to help you in lots of different ways. You know, so... Definitely try to find a really good alliance, like a top 10, some, something like that, or one with like over like about 100 members. It's going to really help out, uh, and it's going to help you really get to level 23 headquarters. Uh, without it, it's really hard. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of events. Uh, for instance, this one where your alliance will just... Uh, get all the checkpoints for you like this one. There's a lot of good rewards here and they just did it all for me. So You have to definitely get into a good alliance Yeah, uh, other things you need to do are like the campaign uh, You know, you just gotta do Whatever you can here and you know use your blitz tokens if you have them this give you this lets you just get all the rewards from a stage like that. And you'll need all these rewards to level up your heroes. And also, you're going to want to do the ultimate challenge. Where is it? Yeah, the ultimate challenge, you just pretty much just fight, um, you know, random bosses. And they give you really good rewards, so... Just keep coming, coming back here and trying to get as far as you can. Uh, you get a lot of you get a lot of uh, heroes and you get some uh, some diamonds. So be sure to do that. And uh, not much else to do really. Um, you know, every day just try to fight a few guys to get your. To get your daily quests, you know, I would try to do the daily quest every day up to, up to the the end. It's pretty easy. Uh, when you're a low level, you might not be able to finish every day. But once you're past like level twelve or something, you should be able to do it every day. 
Um, yeah, and I don't know. Let's see. Uh, another thing you always need to do uh, every day uh, is you need to uh, mine in this rare earth field. I think this becomes available after like headquarters 12 or 16 or something. I don't remember. But anyway, so what you need to do is you enter one of these things. Just do the one you can do the most. And... Uh, you know, I go in here and I just pick, like, some high number and try to find one that's open. So, you know, you do this. So, you do this every day, and it, or every six hours, I guess, seven hours. And that's going to give you this rare earth stuff. And you need this because this is one of the only things you can used to uh, buy uh, resources like a lot of them so and it's the best deal probably in the game so uh you're gonna use that and you're gonna buy all these resources probably whatever you need probably steel or gas i feel like wood's the the one they get the most of but or the one you need the least of but and you need a lot of food to it at the high levels but anyway so be sure to do the rare earth shop uh, and the rare earth uh, field mining thing. So some other other things you can buy in the shops that are good. Um, in the ruin shop, I would recommend you know getting all these chips if you can, um, as many as you need, and then the rest you can just spend on sixty minute speed ups. They're really cheap. And, you know, if there's anything good on the first victory items, I think, uh, I don't even know. I don't think they're that good. Um, if you go over to the Conquest shop, um, I recommend, you know, spending your coins on the diamonds first. And then, uh, wood and steel and gas. And maybe food if you need it. Um, over here in the Hero Glory Shop. Um, there's nothing really you need here. Maybe this uh, three-star troop chip is okay when you're kind of higher level. And over here, you know, I would probably go for the 60-minute build speed up and... Maybe the hero, the four star hero choice, but this one isn't, isn't that important either. And you know, we always check the mystery shop, like I said before, some good deals here. And so that's it for that's it for the shops. Uh, this might be a pretty obvious one, but when you're building, pretty much just build, just build. What you ever, what you need to level up your headquarters. You don't need to kind of build everything. So just do that. Also, in general, you know you're going to want you're going to want to do all these uh, contests, this uh, or these events, and yeah, these ones. Yeah, these are all give you lots of stuff. If you're in a good, if you're in a good alliance, they just give you a bunch of free rewards. So that's. Uh, Pretty useful and I think that's about it yeah, good luck on the game ask me any questions you have and if you haven't signed up for uh, swag bucks or free cash yet just uh, you can use my links in the description and I'll catch you next time